Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, give me a like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. It means a lot to me. If you have donated to my channel in any way, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the link um, of this video. It's in the description as well as in the bio. I have many different options. If you would like to join a group for people in separation, you can do that as well by hitting the more button. We have a lot of great people over there. Um, I am going live on Thursday. There was a mistake. Oh my gosh, guys. I've been really overwhelmed with my schedule and, and my getting on blood pressure medicine. I don't know if anybody out there has ever done this, but it makes it, I have been tired. I have been dizzy. I've been out of it, like feeling like, like out in left field um, by the end of the day. So um, I made a mistake and I do apologize if you are part of my group, but I felt it would be best to just reschedule so everybody knew the correct time. Nevertheless, 7 p.m. on Thursday, if you are part of my group, I will be going live to do one question reads. I am planning a live here for YouTube very soon. Let's hop into this energy. We are going to see what is coming towards us from now until April 15th regarding love, money, and otherwise. But first, our affirmation. Life is simple and easy. All is well in my world. Period. Life is simple and easy. All is well in my world. One more time. Life is simple and easy. All is well in my world world. I am going to do these tonight. I'm going to do some shadow work. Y'all might want to join me. If you feel like life's been a little chaotic, you've been all over the page, that there's been a lot going on. I hope this is uh, focusing out. There's been a lot going on in your life and you just feel like, why is life so hard? Everything's so hard. It's important to take a step back and remember that our reality is our thoughts. We are creating our reality. How can you make your life um, easier? What can you remove? What what can you um, do to allow your life to be a little easier? So the overall energy between now and uh, April 15th, moon, feelings, instincts, nurturing, moon energy. April 6th is the full moon. There's going to be a lot of release. April is going to be a month of release. Something seems to be intensifying. I was hearing intensity. Maybe a situation is very intense. April 15th is tax day or it used to be. I still have not done my taxes. I am doing that this week. Um, definitely. I feel like for a lot of you, there is a lot of releasing. There could be some self-soothing. You know, you could be dealing thing. It's a feminine energy. You are being guided to get in your feminine energy. Take care of yourself, Scorpio. Nurture yourself. Really um, take some time out between now and April 15th. Even if it's just a day, even if it's just a half day off work, take some time out for you for yourself, because I feel like for a lot of you, you deserve it, right? Your instincts between now and April 15th are going to be off the chart. You're going to feel um, everything. Somebody says something, your gut reaction is going to be the right answer. Really practice with your intuition. Start making moves and um, trust yourself. There's no need to ask anybody for advice. There's no need most of the time. I can't tell you the last time I have had to ask somebody for advice. I listen to my guides. I listen to my spirit and I keep it moving. I feel for a lot of you, you may be practicing doing this um, from now until April 15th. The moon energy is going to be very important to you. Eagle, you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. It seems to me you are going to have a lot of clarity. Your gut instinct is going to um, lead you where you need to go, Scorpio. You will know immediately in a certain situation or with a coworker or in any area of your life what you should be doing. A lot of clarity coming in from now until April 15th for you. And change is coming. Yes, yes, yes. 
You are being um, guided here to embrace your life's purpose. I am guiding you towards your divine life's purpose. Whoever makes your heart, whatever, makes your heart filled with joy is what you are meant to be doing. That may be what you're doing here with your gut instinct. And there, maybe there's something that you come upon. Maybe there's something you come across or a, a career, a profession, a person that you say, I want to do that. I could do that. That feels right to me, right? Maybe that is um, what is going on here, but there's going to be some kind of epiphany that you have from now until the end of April, until April 15th. Change is coming. I'm here to guide you through this exciting transformation. This is time for joyous opportunities. I claim spirit. New opportunities coming into your life, enjoying your life. Life is simple and all is well in your world, Scorpio. Remind yourself that. Recognize the signs from above. Number 26, angels are sending you a message now, but you are too distracted to notice. Stay alert and be open to divine guidance. For a lot of you, the divine is guiding you on the path you need to, to take for your um, life purpose, for your well-being, to allow you to have a simple, easy life, Scorpio. I feel um, protection. Honestly, y'all, there is a lot of protection around you right now. You are being, you are being protected. You are being surrounded by white light. Someone is going out of your life, an end of a situation, casket. A lot of you, there are big changes happening here in April. You may finalize a divorce. You may finalize a ending. You may finalize a breakup. And you are being protected through this opportunity or windfall, the carrot. You all, you have something leaving, but you have something coming. And that is, that is what it's all about. That is what it's all about. Look at this, April. I'm telling you, April is going to be a huge month. April is going to be a very, very big month. I, I got to tell you that um, I feel that you are going to be tested, tempted, because you're almost there, because you're almost to your life purpose. You're almost where you're supposed to be. And when that happens, sometimes we can be tempted. The, uh, you know, we will be thrown obstacles, challenges. A marriage will take place either romantic or business-wise. Reconciliation. For some of you, you're going to decide to reconcile with somebody that you had a marriage with. Some of you are going to decide to reconcile with a friend, with a coworker. You're going to um, decide to really work on your relationship. Persevere. You will overcome this problem. You are on the road to success. You are almost there. You are overcoming these problems, Scorpio. And for some of you, if you don't want to reconcile with your with a lover, this could be anybody in your life. You could be reconciling on something you once, like say you were working on a project and you said, you know what, I don't have time for this or this isn't what I want to do. And you're starting to think about it again. Maybe you love to sing. Maybe you love to paint. You're, and you're going to start um, picking back up. You're going to reconcile with it again. Indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble around aimlessly. The wheel. For some of you here in April, because you feel so overwhelmed, because there's a lot of change, you may just be like going with no direction. Really sit down and get a plan going. What do you want in your life? What do you, what goals do you want to achieve, Scorpio? I feel October, it could be very important to some of you, could be October, Scorpios. Something could have happened in October um, for sure, or something could, and it's just a um, message today. Someone will try to make you do something against your will, the club. Some of you, you have somebody that's going to um, be very persistent with you, possibly wanting to um, reconcile with you, possibly uh, somebody at work, a friend, somebody could, you know, be trying to get you to do something that you don't want to do. And um, you're going to have to stand up for yourself. Moving on to finances. I asked Spirit, what was coming for my Scorpios from now until uh, April 15th? Success. In, in finances, success, hope, freedom, healing, and the magic are available if you believe. Do you hear me? 
you are being guided to believe, which leads me into what chakra you should be working on. You're being guided here to work on your third eye chakra to really listen to the, the reactions um, that your body's giving you. Really listen to how you feel in a situation. Visualization as well. You have attracted this card into your life because it, this is a creative time of visualization. Visualization is a tool for manifestation, your desires and your dreams, and a powerful way to receive visions and messages from the spirit world. When we visualize, we activate our third eye chakra, and you currently are expanding and awakening. You are encouraged to practice exercises that enhance the process of meditation through breath work. Now, some of you, you could be receiving signs from the earthly world that you are encouraged to pay more attention to your visions around you. And we have signs, y'all, you're being guided here. You're being guided to open up your third eye. You're being guided to really listen to the signs around you and visualize your success. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Who do you want to be? Visualize it. Start thinking about it. I want to someday buy a Lincoln um, SUV because my son's name was Lincoln. So it is a little... Uh, you know, goal that I have to be able to buy a Lincoln SUV and drive it in honor of my son who has passed away, whose name was Lincoln. I have pictures of the SUV that I got online. I, I've, you know, looked at them, studied them. And when I visualize driving this Lincoln, I picture the emblem on the, on the steering wheel. I picture being in the SUV, what it would smell like, what it would feel like to be in this in this vehicle so if there's something that you want get very clear on it get as detailed as possible and once a week twice a week visualize yourself doing it S science studies show that people who visualize um, manifest way faster there are people who have vision boards of a home that they seen when they were 20 and at 40 they're living in it not even realizing that they had put this on their vision board. They visualized, they believed, they had a unwavering faith. You can do it, Scorp. Start visualizing your dreams. Start visualizing where you want to go in your financial um, you know, life or your life's purpose. What do you want to do? You have an inner knowing of it. Sudden change here, right? For some of you, um, again, with the moon, y'all, we have, it, it's something I am going to take um, note to, to the, my last few readings with the moon energy, something very, very strong with us in the moon energy coming up for April. I'm going to do a release as well. Um, for some of you here, you're being guided. You could be moonlighting coming up soon. You could ha need to take out a short-term loan. For some of you, there's fun work entering um, your life. There's something you enjoy. You are being guided, point blank, period. Some of you may be working the night shift. Some of you may be taking on a part-time job. Whatever the case is, please do a moon release ritual and a moon manifestation ritual this month, in the month of April. Just try it one time. Do a new moon manifestation and do a full moon release. Remember, the new moon is what brings in our manifestations, is what, you know, kind of ignites. That's when we should be um, uh, using the energy of the moon to in the new moon to harness that energy. The full moon is about release. I feel for a lot of you, a lot of financial growth is coming your way. Abundant. Some of you could work outside. Some of you could have a family business. Some of you could really um, love what you do. And coming up, you're going to be able to build on that. You're going to be able to grow from that. Tell me about Scorpio's finances from now until April 15th, Spirit. For some of you, there could be, um, yeah, look at you, Scorpio. You can't make this shit up. Thank you, Spirit, for confirmation again. Do you see what I'm saying? Scorpio, nine of pentacles, but nine of pentacles and the moon. Some of you are very fearful about being single. You're very fearful about your finances and being on your own. Don't be. 
you're going to be just fine. You're going to be able to do whatever you set your, your mind to. Start visualizing. Some of you may be going through a divorce, which is, is scaring you because you're going to be all on your own financially. And it's, it, it's something that scares you. But I, I, if I, what I see here is some unknown source or you being guided to possibly moonlight to get a second job. There's going to be a lot of options, a lot of options and decisions to make and a lot of victory in your finances. You will be, you're going to be okay. I feel here you are standing in your power. You're in the nine of pentacles energy. Um, a lot of you, you're walking away from things that no longer serve you. Even in your finances, you are tired of working some dead end job. You're tired of working with a bunch of hostile people or you're just, you're tired in general. You want something that makes you feel alive inside. And I feel here in April, you may be putting feelers out to find a new job putting yourself out there a little bit, looking around for a new job. For those that are retired, I feel like um, you could be trying to decide on how you can make more money, how you can bring more money in. You're a little fearful to be on your own and be retiring because it's just your income or you possibly have just lost somebody. Maybe you had uh, your husband or wife pass away or somebody else um, close to you. And I feel like you're, you're scared. There's, there's a lot of confusion. For some of you, it's about now being on your own financially. And if you're going to be able to do it, you are, you can, and you will. The divine is protecting you. The Holy Spirit is watching over you. Start visualizing what you want. Either if you're graduating college or retiring, start visualizing your dreams financially and what you want. Moving on to love. I ask spirit, what's coming towards Scorpio from now until April 15th? The lovers, there are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. For a lot of you here, you have two options in love or you have one option to stay with a person or reconcile with a person that there was a lot of, lot of trouble in, that you've been hurt, there's been a lot of pain, or you have an option to move forward and possibly choose a new lover, or you could be stuck between two lovers. Somebody that you're dealing with is very gentle. You know, they feel you're slipping away. They feel time is running out. You could feel like time is running out, Scorpio. Don't fall to temptation. Like I said, I feel that there's going to be something coming up from now until April 15th that's almost a test. That's a test for you. And, and you're being guided here to not fall. Don't fall to temptation. Don't, don't get involved with people just for um, sexual pleasure unless that's what you want. Mm. For a lot of you, you have a new exciting romance coming for you. Somebody that's going to give you butterflies. Somebody that's going to sweep you off your feet. For others, this is a past person. This is a past person coming in and they are going to sweep you off your feet. Maybe y'all are going to decide to work on things, right? Um, because this person feels like it's now or never. Um, I feel here, yeah, it's been frozen. There's been coldness. They've retreated. I also feel, again, we have October. Something happened in October for a lot of you, or something will, or somebody is in October, Scorpio. I feel um, there's hesitation, but and you're being guided to break fee free of fear um, with love, Scorpio. August as well. Well, clarity, though, friendship, loyalty, that's what you want. Spirit is saying now is not the right time. There are sunny days ahead and you are being guided to let go. For a lot of you, you're being guided here to let go of this past person because there, you're definitely going through a divorce for a lot of you and the divorce is about to be final. I felt it. I feel for a lot of you, the divorce is about to be final like you are signing the paperwork or something is going to be final and it's really hurting you. Scorpio, you're going to be okay, baby. You are. You have many paths. You, you have the sun about ready to shine in your life. Do some rituals. Do some rituals on release. 
be optimistic. You're being guided here to be optimistic um, regarding your love life as well. Something could happen on a Sunday in the daytime. I feel that, um, yeah, it's going to happen faster than you think. And we have Libra season. Wow. Something definitely happened in October for a lot of you or you're dealing with a Libra or another Scorpio. Don't worry about how. Just know that your future looks bright. This is you racing, racing, racing out or away from another person here, trying to um, build yourself up, trying to um, figure out which direction to go in, just running in circles. You're just going in circles in your mind, in your heart on which way you should go. Your, your indecision here is causing most of the pain. Indecision from this person, indecision from yourself. Weigh each op option and the consequences. Honestly, y'all, there is a test coming and the test is going to be, are you going to fall to temptation um, and just be seduced or are you going to um, hold out for somebody that actually wants you know everything with you? For a lot of you, you're going through a divorce and your um, ex-husband or wife is about to come in and apologize right before those papers are signed, right before the final, um, you know, the final show. I feel here for some, this person has been playing the field. They weren't serious about you, even when you were married, even when you were in that. Maybe you weren't legally married, but you might as well have been. You're being guided to make healthy choices here, Scorp. Take care of yourself. I feel this person, you've been, you've been in a separation period. Maybe you, nobody has filed for divorce. You're just in a separation period. This person feels like they're in the dark. They don't know what's going on in your life, and they do not like that. They do not like not knowing what, what is going on with you, Scorpio. They want to know. For some of you, you may be going on a romantic trip with somebody coming up very soon. You may be asked to go away for the weekend with your ex or a new person. For a lot of you, you have a new person coming towards you and your ex coming in to tempt you and spirit is going to test you here. This person sabotaged your connection. They're going to be very persistent though and it's going to be a sudden change. This person's going to come in very persistent. Tell me, spirit, what do they want? What are they doing? I feel here, um, yeah, see, you have somebody that romance is going to bloom. Somebody that likes you or will. You could already be dating this person. They're going to want to take things to the next level. It's actually going to start healing inner child. I feel for a lot of you, it's took some time. It's took some patience. It's took you being strong in your own power, Scorpio. And now this past person is going to come in and try to put it down on you or do something to tempt you. And it's going to take you right back to a bad place. For others, this person may be actually wanting to build, wanting to work on things with you right? You will know your gut instinct will tell you. That's why we are getting the moon energy. You will know. You will immediately know. The divine is sending you signs about it. I feel it's going to be a very difficult decision, but if you feel like this person is not changed and all they want to do is have passion, intimacy with you, you're being guided to move forward. Don't fall into temptation. For others here, tell me about the new person. You have a new person that you have been, look at this, victory, that you're going to have victory with if you allow it time, if you allow it to take, you know, maybe you want to move things fast or maybe you're, you're just at the start of it and then a past person comes in and if you could mess it all up by going back to a past person, Please know that you are being guided to listen to your gut instinct about this. They may try to force you, do something against your will here. This person could have a hidden motive, Scorp, when they reach out. And I feel what they're hiding is they just want to be intimate. They don't want anything else. That's all they want. They want to come in and be intimate with you. And then you're going to mess up, you know, all the healing that you have done all it, it, it's a test sweetheart 
It is a test. That is what I feel and that is what I see. For some of you, you may be able to work on this and things may be able to go the way you want them to. But for most, you're going to be tested with a person that just wants intimacy. They're replaying your conversations over and over in their mind. They're very attracted to you. But they are saying we need to let each other go. This is their higher self. Their higher self knows we need to let each other go. We just don't work, Scorpio. Move forward. Meet this brand new person. I will always love you, right? But their 3D self wants to come in and they don't want to lose you. They feel you slipping away, but they also don't want to give you what you deserve. And remember that, please. Now, for some, they may. They may want what you want. You will know. You will know. Your gut instinct is going to tell you. The divine is sending you signs about this. I feel here you could be actually almost like you're, you're right at the verge of, of being able to say no to this person. They no longer tempt you um, in the way that you can't. But you're still going round and round in your mind here, five of swords, about what you should do. This person could be very attractive. You could have a very strong sexual pull to them. So when they come in, it's so hard for you to say no. And if you fail the test, sweetheart, you fail the test. But no, it is going to be a test on how far you have grown and what you're prepared for. This person here, I feel, is going to come in. And um, because they're looking at all the time, energy, money, effort that was invested in this connection, they feel extremely attracted to you. King and Queen of Wands, you're both very attractive people. You're both focused on your career right now. Um, and they want to come in and do the damn thing. But there is another energy surrounding them. They could still be dealing with third parties. Right. They could still be um, have a third party on the back burner and your intuition. High priestess is going to tell you everything you need to know. Absolutely tell you everything, Scorpio. This person's coming in with secrets. Yeah, they rejected you at some point and now they're moving extremely fast. I do feel it's going to be mo for most of you. You're going to really feel good when they reach out. It's going to be like a redemption kind of feeling. Like, you know, and so you do what you do, Scorp, but just be careful, be mindful that you do not want to fall back down into the hole that this person once fucking buried you in. Holy Spirit, tell me about this new person. There's going to be somebody, if for those that are ready, that sweep you off your feet, that honestly, <laughs> this person could be a Leo. Wow, a lot of Leo energy. They could definitely be a Leo here. A lot of happiness, a lot, Scorpio, and you are being given this because of your strength. Now, you could be dealing with a Pisces, an air sign, a water sign here. I feel that you've been so strong and you deserve every single bit of this. This is going to be a brand new, exciting beginning, Ace of Wands, for those who want it. This person could definitely have fire in their chart. I feel that you were left out in the cold by somebody else. Um, you were possibly somebody left you for a third party or left you, divorced you, wanted a divorce, didn't want to be with you anymore. And, and you have been healing from that. And now this person is coming the back in here to tempt you, Scorp. I can't even pick it up. I feel that um, you're planning and you're moving forward, but you are going through an awakening and going from the Nine of Pentacles, which is pre-Empress status, to the Empress, whether you're male or female, you are standing in your power and you are going through this awakening. You are making judgment calls and no longer accepting this Five of Pentacles. Oh, just throw me a little breadcrumb. Um, we can have sex one day and then you don't talk to me for two weeks kind of energy. You deserve more than that, baby. You deserve more than having a person do that. I feel like this person will be really hot and heavy. They'll be texting, doing whatever, and then you all will be intimate and then you'll barely hear from them again. Please don't do that to yourself, Scorp. You have somebody way better coming. Now, for others, if you were married to this person, they possibly do want to come in and talk about trying to work on your marriage. And maybe that's what, you know, if kids are involved and you're married and you have a home and et cetera, et cetera, 
if you feel that's what's best for you, then by all means. But for those who is just, you know, we're casually dating this person, I feel like they are going to come in here and run game on you, Squirt. I really do. You're replaceable. I tried to replace you, but I couldn't. It still it didn't work. Everything, everything I'm looking for, I've found in you. This person here um, knows that you're irreplaceable, but they're confused. Apology. I'm sorry I waited this long to apologize and regret. I held back before and I won't this time. And, and for a lot of you, they do feel this way. But the problem is, is there's still some third party lurking around or there's still some issues that they have to deal with. And so they do come in with all intentions of giving you everything you deserve. And then they get what they want and they just go on about their life. And you're standing there holding the bag, holding the pain. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day. Tell yourself. Every day, in every way, I get better and better. I am a winner. Say it in the mirror. Get yourself started for the day. Go in the mirror right now and tell yourself, I am a fucking winner, man. I am going to win. I will not lose. I'm going to take on my world. Open your arms. Universe, bring me my blessings. I am ready for my blessings. Love and light.